We are talking the final step in congruent triangle proofs. And it's just taking it one step farther and saying that, hey, if I know these three parts are the same, then I know the triangles are the same. And now that I know the triangles are the same, then the other three parts are the same. And that's where the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. The fourth parts of triangles that are congruent are also congruent. And so the fifth parts and so are the sixth parts. So here's what it's going to kind of look like in a proof. We, you know, you got your picture, you got some given things. And we go through, yeah, parallels give us alternate interior, same lines reflexive. Uh, they were bad. They said GJ is GJ, which GJ is actually JG. And then you say that the triangles are the same because of whatever reason. Then, now that you have the triangles are the same, you're allowed to pick, you know, any of the other parts, the fourth part, the fifth part, the sixth part. Um, and go after what they want you to go after, obviously, um, and say that those are the same because of CPCTC, because the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, because the fourth part of congruent triangles are the same size. So let's try one. So we have AB parallel to DE, remember, parallel gives us angles. Usually alternate interior, but sometimes it's corresponding. And C is the midpoint. Well, midpoint's going to cut a line in half. Um, we want to prove that BC is the same as DC. Okay. So we come in here and we go, you know, AB is parallel to DE because it's given. And C is midpoint. I might abbreviate some stuff here to get it though. Midpoint because it's given. All right, let's use those. All right. Um, let's just use the midpoint one first. Oh, C is the midpoint of what? Oh, that's kind of important. C is the midpoint of AE. Okay. It's not the midpoint of both, as far as we know. It's the midpoint of AE. That's what we know. All right, so if it's the midpoint of AE, that means that AC is congruent to... AC is congruent to EC. Because, you know, definition of midpoint. Awesome. So we know we got this segment, uh, this segment the same. Um, parallel gives us that alternate interior angle. So let's go angle A is congruent to angle, let's see, A is twins, oh, angle E because alternate interior angles. Um, we could also go uh, angle B is congruent to angle D because of alternate interior angles. But just for fun, let's just go vertical angles, just to throw something different in here. So angle ACE, ACE is congruent to angle, let's see, AC, ACE, no, it's ACB, come on. ACB is congruent to ECD, angle ECD, ECD, because of vertical Angles. Uh, the vertical, vertical, vertical. There we go. All right. Um, so we've got a segment. A, C, S, D. We got an angle here and an angle there. That would give us A, S, A. Oh, so the triangles are the same. Awesome. So triangle A, C, B is congruent to triangle E, C, D because of angle side angle well so if the triangles are the same then all the other parts that I didn't know anything about before those are also the same um, so AB is going to be congruent to AB. ED and angle D corner D is going to be congruent to corner B and and what they wanted they wanted BC congruent to DC and that is true now because I showed the triangles were the same. So, BC is congruent to what is it, DC because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Because the fourth part of congruent triangles have a twin. You know, that kind of thing. That's how you use CPCTC. You prove the triangles are congruent, just like we've been doing. But that's only three parts.
But now that you got those three parts the same, you're allowed to pick the other parts and say that they have twins. And they just want us to go after one in particular. So we went after that. Uh, this triangle we did ASA. We did ASA with the vertical angles and the alternate interior. You could have done both alternate interiors, you know, B and D, because of this upside down Z. And you could have done A and E because of this Z. And then said uh, side angle angle. That would have worked too. Sometimes there's more than one way. And then you got the triangles the same. And then because the triangles are the same, you got other parts the same.